Hello everybody, my name is Smarty Short for Smarty Reads and welcome back. Today I'm going to read chapter 13 of Campfire Mallory. It's called Friends Forever. Before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Also share this video with your friends and family so they can watch me read as well. And for chapter 14 and 15, they're just extras. So I'll read them together in one video, like a word from Mallory and the first chapter. So yeah, friends forever. Camp Blue like words of wisdom. Saying goodbye is never easy. Corinne and I will get the kelk and monkeys, I tell Sandy. Sandy winks at me. We already we've already talked about the plan. She knows what I'm doing. I'm glad to see you two working together again, she says, but hurry back. It's our last night at camp, and I want all my duckies together. No problem, I tell Sandy. I grab Corinne's hand. Come on, I whisper as we leave the bunk. We've got a lot to do and not much time to do it. All we need to do is get get Kilk and Mookie, says Corinne. Um, not exactly. Corinne and I rush to the lodge. When we get there, I push the door open. First stop, Kilk and Mookie. I hand, the, I hand Corinne the milk carton and cups. You take the kilt and, kilt and I'll take the monkeys. I grab the big bag and labeled Lucky Ducks off the table. Now we have someplace special to go. Corinne follows me out of the lodge as I run towards the campfire ring. It looks different without the fire and all the people who were here earlier, I say, but it seemed like the best place. Corinne looks confused. For what? I reach into my pocket and pull out the matching friendship bracelets I made in the craft shop this afternoon for our friendship bra bracelet ceremony. I clear my throat. Corinne Green, it's officially for our friendship friendship ceremony to begin. I hold out both bracelets and shine the flashlight, flashlight so Corinne can see them. They're purple and green, says Corinne. Then she looks at, looks at me like she likes the combination. Green is my favorite color and purple is your favorite color. I tie my bracelet on Corinne's wrist and she ties one on mine. Okay, I say when we're done. Hook your pinky through mine and repeat after me. I solemnly swear to never take off this bra friendship, bracelet, friendship bracelet until next summer. Corinne repeats what I said. Then she says something of our own. Mallory, thanks for making the friendship bracelet. Thanks for making the bracelets. That was really sweet of you. And then at the top, there's Mallory and Corinne. She looks at, uh, down at her wrist. Now I have two favorite bra bracelets. I look down at our bracelets. I just want to want you to know that I'm really glad we're friends, I say. Corinne, now I have two favorite colors. Corinne smiles. Me too. Then she stops smiling. I'll tell I'll tell you who won't be glad if we don't get back to the bunk scene with the kilk and monkeys. The lucky ducks, we say together. We grab the kilk and I grab the monkeys and we run down the path. What took you so long? Brooke asks, Brooks, Brooke asks when we get back to camp. We're, we were just getting kilk and monkeys, Corinne says innocently. Sandy winks at Corinne and me. Then we all sit down on, on her bed while she passes around kilk and monkeys. I can't believe tonight is, a, is our last night, says Nikki. I'm so sad that we have to leave tomorrow, says Natalie. Corinne puts, uh, Sandy puts one arm around Nikki and the other around Natalie. You know what Uncle Al says about that, Nikki smiles. Saying goodbye is never easy. That's right, says Sandy. But at least we have the great we have the great Camp Blue Lake tradition of bus notes. When we finish our milk and cookies, cook and monkeys, everyone passes around the bus notes they made that we made for each other. I have one. I have all of mine. I take from when I have all of mine. I take my backpack out from under my bed and slip them carefully inside so I can read them on the bus on the way to to home tomorrow. I think back to the day I got on the bus to come here. I didn't want to come to camp, and now I don't want to leave. Hey, Sandy, can we stay up late one tonight? Can we stay up late tonight? I ask. On one condition, Sandy has a serious look on her face. We, you all have, you all promise to come back next year. And then at the top, there's Sandy with Natalie and Nikki, um, Brooke and Ma, Brooke and Molly and Mo and Mallory and Corinne. We promise, we all say together. 
I look around my cabin at all of the good friends I made. Even though parts of camp were hard, I think about all the fun I've had and my friends I've had and the friends I've made. Mom and Dad were right about giving camp and people a chance. I'm really glad I did. Then I think about Uncle Al's words of wisdom. Saying goodbye is never easy. But promising to come back tomorrow, come back next summer is a breeze. That's the end of that chapter. I'll see you next time when I read this letter and bus notes. Bye, everyone.